Recently I read The Word on Fire's Voting Guide for Catholics, and it's interesting, I saw some inconsistencies. It mentions there are three moral issues that Catholics should consider as their major moral issues. They are abortion, euthanasia, and capital punishment. Now capital punishment is interesting to be included with the first two. I'm going to quote the article here. Bishop Barron says, A Catholic may never vote for a candidate because that candidate supports a morally repugnant position only despite that support, only because of balancing considerations. Thus, for example, a Catholic in good conscience can never say that she will vote for Joe Biden because the Democrat is pro choice, and by the same token, a Catholic in good conscience could never say that he will vote for Donald Trump because the Republican is for capital punishment. In an article called The Traditional Case for Capital Punishment, it includes quotes from Pope Pius XII in support of capital punishment, and it also includes quotes from St. Augustine and even St. Paul in support of capital punishment. Now, Bishop Barron sort of shifted some of his ideas to go more along with Pope Francis. This is especially noted at the June USCCB meeting when Bishop Barron noted what he called the eloquent ambiguity of Pope Francis in regards to capital punishment. Besides contradicting saints, um, Bishop Barron also contradicts Cardinal Ratzinger. In 2004, Cardinal Ratzinger, who would later go on to become Pope Benedict, issued a letter called Worthiness to Receive Holy Communion, General Principles. I believe this was the letter that Cardinal McCarrick and Archbishop Wilton Gregory read to the USCCB, except they didn't read it, they paraphrased it to make it more friendly towards dissenters. This letter is a short letter, and you can read it, I linked it below. At point number three, it says, Not all moral issues have the same moral weight as abortion and euthanasia. For example, if a Catholic were to be at odds with the Holy Father on the application of capital punishment, or on the decision to wage war, he would not for that reason be considered unworthy to present himself to receive Holy Communion. While the Church exhorts civil authorities to seek peace, not war, and to exercise discretion and mercy in imposing punishment on criminals, it may still be permissible to take up arms to repel an aggressor or to have recourse to capital punishment. There may be a legitimate diversity of opinion even among Catholics about waging war and applying the death penalty, but not, however, with regard to abortion and euthanasia. And what's particularly interesting is that Bishop Barron fails to condemn Joe Biden, who claims to be Catholic but so supports abortion, which actually in this letter of Cardinal Ratzinger's in 2004, you just have to scroll down to point five and point six, where he says, Regarding the grave sin of abortion and euthanasia, when a person's formal cooperation becomes manifest, understood in the case of a Catholic politician, as his consistently campaigning and voting for permissive abortion and euthanasia laws, his pastor should meet with him and instruct him about the Catholic teaching. When these precautionary measures have not had their effect, or in which they were not possible, and the person in question with obstinate persistence still presents himself to receive the Holy Eucharist, the minister of Holy Communion must refuse to distribute it. So Cardinal Ratzinger is saying, okay, well, the death penalty is not even close to the same level as abortion and euthanasia. And when a politician supports abortion and euthanasia, he should be corrected by his pastor. And if he refuses to change his ideas, then that pastor should deny him Holy Communion. Now, Bishop Barron's deviation from the Catholic faith in this regard shouldn't come as much of a shock because he was ordained by Cardinal Bernadine, who fabricated the seamless garment theory. In this fabrication of the seamless garment, Cardinal Bernadine said that pro-life doesn't mean just being opposed to abortion, it means supporting the environment or workers' rights. And quite clearly, the seamless garment is not Catholic. And I think we can have discussions about capital punishment, about how extensively it should be implemented by the government, but there is no honest discussion about abortion. It should be completely illegal. In this Word on Fire voting guide, there's more of this ambiguity that Bishop Barron speaks about. And I know people are going to criticize me for this video and say, well, Bishop Barron can't take a political stance. And I would say, okay, well, if that's the case, then why not just not issue this voting guide at all and step aside and let more courageous priests like Father James Altman, Father Mark Goring, and Bishop Strickland speak for the Catholic Church on this issue?